Welcome back to another video everybody, this is Scotty, and today we're in the beta again playing with the Skulk Sensor, because I came up with an idea last night. I made a combination lock with it. The black one here will reset it, and as soon as I walk over a red block it will send a signal, and it will only do it once. We head over to the blue block, it does a signal, again, it's only once. And then we come over here to the green one, it sends a signal, but it doesn't open. You have to step on these blocks in the right order. So if you try blue, then red, and then green, nothing happens. Let's reset it again and hit it in the correct order. which is red, then green, and finally blue. Now the door opens, we have access to the hidden room. And when we go over the black block again, it will reset. Now these blocks could be completely hidden, and once we're allowed to waterlog these, they'll be completely quiet. Here is what the redstone looks like underneath. I'm not sure if you notice, but the skulk sensors are on sticky pistons because in bedrock we can move them. And since we can move them, we can make flying machines just like this. So hopefully you've enjoyed this quick overview of the skulk sensor and hopefully you can start to get some ideas of what you can use the skulk sensor for once it arrives in bedrock. Thank you for watching. 